Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and how about the run that Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill has been on? Some people believe in terms of his overall striking, he's the best in the light heavyweight division right now. Certainly, he believes that confidence is high, and he believes in this matchup he should be able to showcase his hands yet again. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. And now some separation. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Big knee there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice team kick there from the kickboxer, and that is going to give the opposition something to think about. I've never eaten one of those, but it doesn't seem fun. Oh, it sucks. It sucks to get hit with that front kick up the middle. And that is going to allow for him to stay at range. It also deters takedown attempts, because you know that if you change levels into one of those, you are going to sleep. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Just misses with the left hook. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent... Is oh! Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. You take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. Beautiful. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Hill gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Oh, nice elbow. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. All right, so Alex Pereira getting it done with his striking as usual, realizing success low with the kicks and certainly up top with the hands. John, whenever you accomplish all that he accomplished in kickboxing, you expect him to be a high-level striker, but the way that he has adapted his style to mix martial arts really should be commended. He isn't just fighting as a kickboxer anymore. Oh! That leg kick hurt. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. He engages in the single side. Big shot to the head. Oh, beautiful job here defensively. And then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter strike. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Hill. Right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry he's about now. But he's got to start to protect it. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Nice strike. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 
Nice block. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's do it. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, there you go. Trying to set up that counterattack. He gets to the single call time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar time. Sweet Dreams Hill's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, big elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Punch got blocked there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, nice. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round oh. Side leg kick. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it, it has to, right? Because you got. Watch the referee right then and there has called a stop to the action. Looks like he's going to call on the doctor to look at the cut, and it is a pretty significant one, DC. Well, he's bleeding a lot, and the, the, the blood is going into his eyes. It's very difficult for him to see right now. Not too much blood. The doctor taking a long look here, and. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for yep. now. Fans are going to like that. That's really good. Good call by the officials. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance. And as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are. Oh! Oh, massive diving punch, plus to the head. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh, wow, he got out and mounted him. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's gonna choke him. There it is. And that is it! Alex Pineda! Coming up huge tonight. Oh, boy. Absolutely.
absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai! All right, so all that extra work in Danbury, Connecticut with Glover Teixeira paying off Alex Pereira, your winner by submission. Out of the norm. We don't generally expect to hear that when he fights, but he got it done by submission, so hats off to Alex. Suffering builds character to get a load of me. I've been through shit of feel.